Bibliographies can help make your research process more efficient. This video will show you how to use the bibliography of a resource you have already found to locate articles on your topic. To get started, you will want to read through the author's bibliography to determine which of their sources you might want to use in your research and writing. Then, you will need to discern what type of source it is. Typical clues for an article include the author's name, the article title, often in quotation marks, the journal, magazine, or newspaper title, often in italics, and the date of publication. You will usually also see a volume and issue date. Now, we will begin the search by navigating to the UWM Libraries homepage. Here we are on the UWM Libraries homepage. Hover over the Search and Find tab located in the upper left-hand corner of the page. Next, select Search at UW from the drop-down menu. The next step is to click on the link to Advanced Search. I am going to demonstrate two different methods you can use to track down an article using Search at UW Advanced Search. First, I will show you how to find a specific article using keywords or phrases from the title. So, for the article, The Regime of Authenticity, Timelessness, Gender, and National History in Modern China, I will enter the first phrase, The Regime of Authenticity, into the first search box on the left-hand side. Then, I will navigate to the Material Type menu and select Articles from the drop-down list. Next, I will click Search to continue. Looking at our first result, it seems like we have found the article we are looking for. Once we confirm that the title, author, and publication information are correct, we can click on the View It tab. The list of links you see here all represent different resources which allow you to access this article. You will notice when you look at each link that the dates of coverage for this article vary by source. So, you will want to look at your citation to confirm the publication date. Because the article we are looking for was published in 1998, we know that we should be able to access it online through Wiley Online Library because their coverage begins in 1997. Once you have chosen a link, click Go to gain access to the article. Here is the article we are looking for. We can click here to get access to the full text PDF. Since you will not be able to find every journal article by doing a title search, it is a good idea to know how to locate a specific journal. The second strategy for finding articles is to locate the journal that published the article. To do this, you will begin on the UWM Libraries homepage. Navigate to the Search and Find menu and select Search at UW from the drop-down list. Next, click the link here to go to the Advanced Search. This time, I will enter the title of the journal, History and Theory, into the first search box on the left-hand side of the page. Then, I will navigate to the Material Type menu and select Journals from the drop-down list. Next, I will click Search to continue. Here is the journal we are looking for. If we click on the View It tab, you will see that once again, the dates of coverage for this journal vary by source. Because the article we are looking for was published in 1998, we know that Academic Search Complete should have online access to this journal because their coverage begins in 1975. Once you have chosen a link, you must click Go to continue. Here we are in the online version of the journal History and Theory. Looking at our citation, we know that we need to find Issue 37, Volume 3, published in 1998. So, you will want to navigate to the menu on the right-hand side of the page and click on the year of publication, 1998. Next, look for the correct volume and issue number. In this case, we will click the link to gain access to Volume 37, Issue 3. Now you can see all of the articles published in Volume 37, Issue 3 of the journal History and Theory. After you locate the article you are looking for in the list, you can select the PDF icon to download, print, save, or email.